Hey guys, it's Fintimi here, and welcome back to Shin Life. This is going to be a later upload, uh, as long as I get it up tonight. I don't know if I will or not, but hopefully I can. Uh, basically, I've been super busy today, and I just didn't feel like recording earlier, and I just suddenly got the mood to record, so I'm going to put up a video. You may be seeing it tomorrow, you may be seeing it tonight when I put it up. Either way, this is a video telling you how to become invincible. Now, you might be thinking, Timmy, that's not possible. Well, guess what? You're wrong, because actually it kind of is possible, and it's because I am sly, and Rogue Games probably hates me, to the bottom of their soul because if they know about this they're going to hate me i i basically used the shino life system to my advantage i fought some boku and he learned the hard way you don't want to fight me in the open world you just don't want to anything you use in arena will not work against me if you've seen any of my pvp videos from recently you'll know why so let me go through why this loadout right here is so op now i will say a couple things can be switched and upgraded number one there's a better move for this uh, number two, you can use other moves for your attack and whatnot, whatever you want to use in your bloodline slots, but I do think that you should have at least one auto-dodge. Uh, preferably the Benkai auto-dodge, because it allows you to cast moves while you're in there and charge. But let me explain each and every bit of this, right? So this is open world only, not arena, but in open world, right? The first move we're going to go over. I'll scroll all the way down to some abilities. You're going to see the Spirit Bomb Shirk and Toss. I'm actually looking for the Rush. This is the Rush, right? You put it in your R slot, and the reason why is because it does solid damage. It makes you go faster. Look at that. And also, even if you're weaker, it's still going to be solid. It's good for getting around the map. Let's see you need to get away. It's really good. But this one is even better. And you want to know what I mean? Uh, basically, you see you got the toss here, but there's the rush. You got the Sorian, uh, Satori Inferno Bomb Rush. If you've ever seen my videos, you'll know that they're actually way stronger. It does about 3 to 4k damage more than the normal rush, and it's another just really good way of getting away from a situation or rushing into one. Uh, but then here's where it gets OP. We actually have about 4 auto dodges on us right now. Uh, one thing I do need to change is right here, this, this little slot right here, just act like this is not here. Uh, let me just fix this. Yeah, because the reason why, I'll explain it later, but that just won't work. Um, anyways, so this, this 4 slot... You can also exchange this off for anything. This is just a move I have here temporarily. Actually, a pretty bad move, not going to lie. You kind of want to change that out. You can come up with your own ways. There's a bunch of stuff you can do here. But the core aspects of this loadout is solid. And trust me here when I say I have never been defeated since I fixed this loadout. And it can actually be even stronger if I was to take the time to upgrade it. Anyways, we have the rushes, right? Then we have the first auto dodge, which is Fog Dissolution. Where is it? It's a pretty basic one right here. And you don't, I don't even think you have to search for it. I'm pretty sure you're able to just buy it after a certain amount of time. But what it does is if you cast it, it's not an instant cast. It is hand signs. But look how much faster you're able to get. And they don't know where you go. So that gives you time to get away from a situation that could be hairy. Then, uh, the next thing, like I said, this four slot, you don't even have to worry about it. You can put whatever you want. Preferably a stun or a high damage move. The next one is going to be an illusion style move called... Wait, where is it? Illusion style crow salvation. I did a video on how to get these if you want to get them. They're specifically Akuma boss drops. But what this does is it basically puts them in a Genjutsu. See that? 10,000. And it does it a couple times. It actually does 30k damage and it stuns them three different times. Pretty OP. But then uh, the next move is another stun. So it's actually one that takes you up in the air, allows you to get away or get closer to someone. Shock slam technique. There are better, there's a better version of this. I forget what it is. You guys probably know. I, for, I forget what it actually is called, but there's a better version of this move out there that you're able to go get. I just haven't done it yet. But uh, it's also really good. But as I said, you got this as an auto-dodge. This is kind of like an auto-dodge because you're able to stun them. Uh, then you have the actual auto-dodge, obviously. I can auto-dodge, get away. Preferably use Riser, not Riser, I mean Benkai, because you're able to cast moves in it. Because here's the thing. With Riser, you can cast moves, but it's at the last frame. Where Benkai, it's the whole time. It's the longest and best auto-dodge in the game, if you ask me. And then, like I said, that one move, the Pain move, let me actually look here. The reason why this would not work is because it's the same thing as this right here, and it's on global cooldown. So if you have both of those, it just won't work. But you can have another damage-dealing move in here, and that's what I did. I actually got the Benkai damage-dealing move, which is not the best. You can obviously swap that out. Put another damage move here, you're good. But the core aspects are this, is the Fog Dissolution, the Auto Dodge, this, and you might be thinking, Timmy, that's not that good so far. Well, well, well. Let me tell you what actually makes this busted. See, all these moves combined are still not enough to kill most one-shot combos that are meta right now. But there's something that everybody knows about, 
but no one knows just how strong it is. And I've done a video on the tailed spirits many times. But what you want to do is you want to have a tailed spirit, right? Six paths or Tentacian. Tentacian's stronger, but lasts uh, not as long. Or six paths is a little bit weaker, but lasts much longer. Anyways, the point is, a lot of thing, uh, a lot of times people just kind of forget that you can actually charge while you're on a tailed spirit. So like, I can charge up my chakra up here. I can do a med stem right up here. I can do anything I want. I can spray stuff while I'm up here. I can hit Q to drop balls. I literally have so many things I can do. I can charge. See, it's like, it's pretty nuts. Uh, I'm actually going to do all of my auto dodges in succession. I can't even speak. I'm going to do all of my auto dodges in succession. 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 I'm too excited, all right? This is this is something that's been long in the waiting. Did I just say long in the wait? <laughs> I'm done. This has been something that's been uh, in the works for a long time. Put it that way. But anyways, this is normally where I fight people. It's an open world area. It makes it easier to use your tailed spirit. So what I can do, right? Is I can auto dodge. Get away. All right. The moment I get out, go and start casting fog dissolution. All right. Get away. Then, while I'm getting out of here, I can go ahead and cast my Illusion Style, which is right here. Then, after that, if I need to, I can get on my Tailed Spirit and charge. And just so you know, a lot of these are actually doing damage while you're doing all this passively. You play the long game, basically. Also, do not, do not spam balls while you're in your Tailed Spirit, because even though you think it does damage, it's actually going to make your MD go down faster, and you're not going to be able to do what you're thinking. Uh, then, like I said, you can just keep going. Look at this. I've already recharged all of these moves because they're not on global cooldown. I can just keep on going. And look at that. My Tailed Spirit's back. Oh, but did I mention my Illusion Style's back? I can do this nonstop. So if you want to come fight me, go right ahead. What I'm getting at is, you cannot kill me if I really try. And the thing is, I can actually upgrade this loadout to be even more broken. Because all I have to do is just actually try. If I was to upgrade this move, upgrade this move, and then put one more damage-dealing bloodline move here. Yeah, no, you're not killing me. I call this loadout the meta one-shot combo killer, basically. It's basically the anti-combo. That's that's what I've always called as the anti-combo. This is the combo that kills all combos. I don't think there's going to be any other YouTuber that can really stack up to this. But hey, if you're a YouTuber out there, like Variety J, if you're watching this right now, I dare you to try figuring out a way to like actually fight all of this. Like I said, this is not a perfect loadout here. But the core part of it with all the auto dodges and being invincible is absolutely true. You're going to have a hard time fighting this in the open world. Now, in Arena, this is not going to work at all. But in open world, Shindo gameplay, in like a 1v1, no, nobody's going to be able to beat you with this because so far I've not been defeated and I haven't even maxed out the potential of this. You could probably take this to further extents. And yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, just please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I mean, I genuinely could use it so much. I just gave you my biggest secrets, my biggest tips. You now know everything I have to offer. I This is like my biggest secret in a way. I mean, obviously... You, you probably already have seen it if you've seen my videos, but I just explained every little aspect of it, of how it works just so perfectly. And now you can take this and you can make it stronger. And now if your friends ever ask, how'd you get this? They're going to call it, you know, you can call it the Fusion Timmy combo. Or you can call it the Anti combo. Just know that I created it. And yeah, I mean, that's this is literally the thing I've been rocking for so long, upgrading again and again and again. When everybody else was working on like, oh my God, the one shot meta combos. I was like, nah, I hate these. And I made something just as annoying. Is this an annoying loadout? Yes. Is it broken? It should be nerfed? Yes. Does it exist? Yes. And that's why I'm trying to tell you guys right now. If you want to be sweaty, if you want to have the best loadout, you came to the right place. I'm not even going to lie. You guys have just gotten like a serious loadout here. So all I can ask is just subscribe, drop a like, and let your friends know that I sent you. And that's it. I mean, that, that's genuinely it for this video. I hope you enjoyed Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my combo. Fusion Timmy, signing out.